I heard. It's a year where God will disgrace many pastors. On the 27th of December, saints of God, God's servant Apostle John Enuma released a revelation given by the Spirit of God that no one ever saw coming. Please listen carefully. How many of you have um, hearing of what's happening to T.D. Jakes? Yes, sir. Yeah? How many of you have you not heard? Yes, yes sir. I'm going to say something some, as we build in these five nights. Mm. Hear me? You know what the Lord said? The Lord said, John, John, he called me twice. He said, don't speak against him. Mm. I said, but Lord, I don't like the man. I don't like it. You know what the Lord said? The Lord said, because of the length of time he has at least preached this gospel, pray for him. Mm. Wow. You know, I was praying the other day. I said, Lord, tell me one of the prophecies for 2024. The Lord said, so I heard. Now, hear me, I heard. It's a year where God will disgrace many pastors. Especially the fake ones. Yes, sir. So I was, I was writing. Soon, soon, soon. The next day I was praying. The Lord said, you heard that, but I didn't tell you. Oh. It's weird, isn't it? Yes, sir. And I said, Lord, but, but Lord, the spirit that spoke to me is one of your ministry spirits. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, it says, are there not all ministry spirits sent forth to ministers for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Psalm 104 verse 4 says, who make his angels spirit? His ministers of flame. I said, Lord, ah, I know what I heard now. It wasn't a negative voice. The Lord said, that was my angel speaking, but now I want to tell you. So God can strike out what an angel has said when he wants to speak. You know, he said, in that place where you wrote, there will be ministers disgrace. He said, it's a year when ministers will enjoy mercy. He said, now pray. You know what? I'm going to be one of T.D. Jake's intercessors. I don't like him. I still don't like him. <laughs> let, let us make it clear. I don't like him. Because it's not because I don't like the man. I don't like what he preaches. Listen. What many of these gospels... The type of gospels we're hearing now, that we, that's being preached now, if you take this type of gospel to Afghanistan, they will backslide. Nobody wants to be hearing 20, years to, 20 ways to make 10 million in Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. Usman, come. Look at this, brother. Stand here. What do you desire? What do you want? What did you say? What did you tell me you wanted? What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. So what do you desire? What, do you, what, do you, what were you telling me outside? Uh, um, was he on... Eh? Right. So, 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 <laughs> what did you say you wanted God to do? What did you want from the church? Nothing. Just came here to relax. You know, go stress in my life. Now, what did you tell me about your religion? What do you want to do? What would you I like? I want to change my religion. Say it again. I want to change my religion. What is your current religion? Jesus. No, no. What is what? What? Okay. Muslim, Muslim. So you're a Muslim, yeah. but you, now you want to be a Christian. Yeah. Why? Because uh, some guy helped me. He, t- he told me, come uh, pray for Jesus. He will help you. So, okay. He said, pray to Jesus. He will help you. So why, why, do you, why do you desire to not be a Muslim anymore? Because my family, they will throw me from the house. So, my wife, everyone, they know. Now, now get, hear this. This type of man doesn't want you to tell him how to make 10 million. He wants to know about Jesus. Sir. I spoke to him on my way out after Sunday service in the night. What time? About 1 a.m. in the morning or so? 12, 12 midnight, 1 a.m. Outside. He said, all I want from the church, I don't want anything. I just want to change my religion. I just want Jesus. So that is why the Bible says, this gospel must be preached, but preach right. So is, are you listening? Yes, sir. Um, Usman, we'll talk later after the service. Now, hear me. I had to bring him as an example because he told me we come. I didn't. At four something he called and I picked up. He said, I'm on my way. I said, You're coming. That's okay. 
tell the receptionist who you are and I've briefed them. That is the essence of the gospel. Yes, and that is not what T.D. Jake stands for. That's why I don't like him. But apostle, there are people that follow T.D. Jake. He has people. He helps people. Yes, sir. What type of people? The Lord said, pray for him. Because 2024 will be a year where ministers will enjoy God's mercy. Amen. But guess what? Write it down. The Lord said, a lot of prophets will come online and tell you it's a year where pastors will be disgraced. Write it. You will know. He said, don't listen to those prophets. He said, I have put a lying spirit in all their mouth. That's why I was corrected quickly. He said, I didn't tell you that one. Just watch. Go. As we get to um, um, is it New Year's Eve, just start looking out for, you know, 2024 prophecies. Is now, it's now, how many of you have seen many online now? Yes, sir. What will happen in the year 2024? How many of you are wasting your data listening? What is going to happen? Don't, don't join the world to bash DDJ. Mm. I don't know what has happened in secret. I was not there. I was not in PD this party. <laughs> but one thing I do know is that God still loves him. Yes, sir. And guess what? God said, I will use him as a case study of my mercy to this generation. Wow. The Lord said, you know what the Lord said? He said, nobody's bringing him down. You know, I, said, I told the prophecy of 2023, one of the prophecies was that TDJ should put his house in order. How many of you remember that prophecy? Yes, sir. Go and see. This time last year, we were talking about, the Lord told me, tell TDJ to put his house in order. TDJ fans came for me. Oh. Oh, yes. Now they are not backing him. Many of them now are the ones spreading the rumors to scatter him. That's right. Isn't it funny? Be careful. Those people that hail you, they are there when things are good. When things go sour, you will know who is this lawyer. I prophesied it here. Thus says the Lord, tell T.D. Jakes to put his house in order. Look at what's happening to him today. So I should be the first person to be, you know, feeling good. God spoke to me. The Lord said, keep quiet there. Don't be happy. He said, I will use him as a case study to show this generation my mercy. I said, why Lord? You know, sometimes you want to feel good as a prophet to prove that God spoke. The Lord said, you think all the things that he has tried to do with my name, I will let that go down in vain? I will, I, he said, I will use him as a case study to showcase my mercy. Wow. You know, the Lord said, I also use him to, to, to save your wife. It was through her. I heard about T.D. Jakes. And the messages he was preaching, I don't know, it's, I'm not talking about the messages now. The messages he was preaching at some point were liberating. And she got me hooked. In fact, I stole. You know when you steal and you claim legal right of ownership after stealing? I stole an iPod. Is it iPod they call it in those days? iPod. Because it was loaded with T.D. Jake's um, sermons and worship. I was in my room one day. And then I heard the doorbell. I went to the doorbell. Mama came to visit me. Then we're still in courtship. And she rolled up this iPod. So as she sat in my sitting room, I went to the kitchen to get something. Then I heard um, some voice. There was this song he sang. It says, Lord, prepare me. You see the way he sang that song? I sang. Have you heard T.D. Jack sing that song? How many of you have heard him sing that song? Don't want, raise your hand. Don't worry, I'm not going to fight you. God has told me to pray for him so we're on the same page. <laughs> Lord, prepare me with deep voice. A sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With His gift, I'll be a living, I'll be a living. Sanctuary, Lord, for you. And I was hearing, I said, where's that song coming from? 
So I brought her a drink. So I sat down, we're talking. She must have left the I, headphones going. And I heard, there's a way he screamed. Ha! Then he hit the next dimension of the song. I said, let me hear that thing. I got hooked. After that song finished, he started preaching. He was preaching the message. That message touched me. I said, let me listen to the next message. That's how I stole it. I never returned it. That was the end of that iPod. <laughs> listen to me. The Lord has turned me to an intercessor for that man now. Why? Because God wants to use him as a point of contact to save the, the souls of genuine people that lost their way. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So, we'll be praying for him and his wife. Amen. I don't know about his children, but him and the wife. We'll start with those ones first. Because I'm still telling the Lord, I don't understand why. Yes, yeah, but who am I? It says, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not what? Our thoughts. So, if you go back now to Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. This time verse 11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast. Yeah, hear me. The Lord said, please, mark my word, if I be a prophet, before the end of 2023, many prophets will come up and say, God told them that 2024 is a year to expose disgraced pastors. God said, it's not him. He said, don't believe that word. He said, it's a year where pastors, because of their works and labor of love, in that they have ministered to the saints and do ministry. He says, I will show them mercy. Hallelujah. Write it down. So God is going to go against a lot of so-called prophets. He said, don't listen. You will know. He says, I have put a lying spirit in their mouths. I didn't tell them to say that. Because I was about to also say the same thing. So the Lord called him. Say something. I did not tell you. I said, but I heard clean. He said, clean voice. Say, he says, am I not God? You had angel, I'm God. Which one do you want? I say, I want God. Mm. Uh -huh. God said, angel said, which one would you listen to? God said, look at the neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Listen to the voice of God. 